Hi Cougars, I'm Stu, along with Jerrica, and this is the Cougar Campus News. Hey Cougars, this holiday season we'll be having a door decorating contest. All students can help decorate their advisory class door. Judging will be done on Friday, December 15th, and the winning class will get hot chocolate and sweet treats. Open the door to some winter cheer. FFA is selling winter grams at lunch to the MU. Purchase a winter gram for your bestie or someone special for a low cost of $3. Get your winter grams quick before they all sell out. Attention students! There will be a series of costume design meetings for interested students at lunch in Mr. Room, Ward's room, C8, this Thursday at lunch. Come by and be part of the creative and artistic team that helps plan and design costumes for The Little Mermaid. Art club and fashion club students are especially encouraged, but all are welcome. Attention cast members of The Little Mermaid. There will be a parent meeting in the first read through of the script for all cast members tomorrow night at 5, beginning at 6.30 in the multi-purpose room. One parent or guardian should stay for the first 30 minutes and the cast will stay till 9. Hey Cougars, who's your favorite teacher on our campus? Let's find out. Who are your guys' favorite teachers and why? My favorite teacher is Miss Yerby because I think she teaches bio really well and she's really nice. Mine's Miss Yerby too because I like her and she makes good compote. What? <laughs> um, my oh, favorite oh, teacher is Mrs. Santis because she's an awesome cool teacher song. and I like what math because of her. Who are your guys' favorite teachers and why? Um, mine is Mrs. Santis because she's really nice and she helps me out with problems that I have in math. Um, my favorite teacher would be Miss Jakely. She's very outgoing. She's um, nice and funny and she really helps us out a lot. She's very humble too. Favorite teacher and why? Well, last year Dubon was my favorite teacher because we got a lot of things done in class and I loved the stories that he told. Favorite teacher and why? Um, my favorite teacher is Miss Svensson because she's been helping me since sophomore year and still to this day she's helping me a lot. Yeah, Mr. Ward, I had him back at Cunha in sixth grade and I really enjoyed his class. It was always really fun. And I liked Mr. Olson's class too when I was a freshman. It was that I also had a lot of fun in that class. I learned a lot, and also Mr. Boysen, his classes, I, I always just have a lot of fun in that class, Mr. Boysen is really cool. Mr. Boysen is my favorite teacher, uh, he's a cool guy, I got a connection with him I think, and overall he's probably my best math teacher, oh, English teacher, throughout the years, so yeah. My favorite teacher is Mr. Uh, Kim, because he <laughs> makes everyone laugh without trying. Okay, so I'm kind of indecisive between two teachers, Ms. Kendall and Mr. Hart. I like them both because of their personality. I like Agundes because he gives out candy. My teacher is Mr. Olsen because he's so talkative. Because, I mean, he's just the best. That's why. That's the only reason. That's it. My favorite teacher is Mr. Anderson, the band teacher, because he scolds me for being bad at instruments I've never played before. Um, my favorite teacher is Mr. Reardon, because Mr. Reardon, he's a really good art teacher, really good metal sculpture teacher, and he like makes you want to learn. He doesn't just throw stuff out in front of you, he teaches you a lot. He's blessed, he has a blessed... My favorite teacher is Mr. Stagg, because I really like physics, and he's also a really good teacher. Are you interested in creative writing? Well, the Half Moon Bay Library is hosting a short story contest for teens. This year's theme is social justice and inclusion. The deadline is January 14th. Contact Karen Choi at choi at smcl.org for more detail. Anime Club is not meeting today. Meetings will resume next Monday at lunch in P4. Hey Cougars, are you working up an appetite? Here's what's on the lunch menu today. Cheeseburgers and hamburgers. Now, Stu, wait a second. If you had a choice between a hamburger or a cheeseburger, which one would you pick? Cheeseburger all day. It's gotta be cheeseburger, It's gotta right? be cheeseburger. Now, here's Bradley with sports. The varsity football team won their third straight CCS championship with a convincing 41-9 win over Terranova in the Division III open title game. Wide receiver Dylan Williams caught a 62-yard touchdown bomb and also scored on a thrilling 77-yard end-around play. Quarterback Gavin Tomberlin completed five passes for 137 yards with two touchdowns, and the Cougars' defense was rock solid. 
The 13-0 Cougars now face Sutter High School from the Yuba City area in the NorCal playoffs at home at John Francis Field this Saturday night at 6 p.m. Go Cougars! Cougar pride! Go Cougars! Go Cougars! Go Cougs! The Half Moon Bay High School girls varsity wrestling team finishes in first place at Peninsula Girls Varsity Wrestling Tournament. Daniela Corona was the 150 pound champion. Janet Sarabia, Lucy Sarabia, Maria Suevez, and Kiki Ronquillo all finished in second place in their respective weight classes. On the boys side in varsity action, Half Moon Bay wrestlers Luis Alcala placed second and Lucas Woodbridge placed third at the tournament. The JV boys finished in seventh place. Luke James, Jonathan Mendez Santos, and Eddie Lopez all turned in strong performances for HMB. The boys varsity basketball team suffered a tough overtime loss to Reardon 69-64 Friday at the Crusader Tourney. Ethan Menzies led the way with 27 points, 13 rebounds, and five blocks. David Billington contributed 15 points. The boys bounced back to defeat Mission 59-48 in the third place game on Saturday. The stat line was dominated again by senior Ethan Menzies, whose triple-double consisted of 24 points, 19 rebounds, and 10 block shots. Complimenting Ethan was Sam Trainer with 17 points, including 2 for 3 from downtown and 7 for 8 from the stripe. The girls basketball team used aggressive team defense to hold Ignacio Valley to three first half points while eventually winning 60 to 19 over the weekend. Relentless pressure led to transition points that not only frustrated Ignacio Valley, but wore them out. All nine Lady Cougars scored and this year's group is slowly building something special. Now here's Mr. Olson with the daily trivia. Happy Monday out there, Half Moon Bay High School. And again, congratulations to the varsity football team. CCS Division III champs there in the NorCal playoffs. This Saturday, a home game against Sutter High School from the Yuba City area. A football power in that area. The Cougars 13-0, Sutter 12-1, 6 o'clock this Saturday right here at John Francis Field. All right, now on to our trivia question. The answer to Friday's question was the movie Lady Bird. We offer our congratulations to Mr. Anderson and his uh, class. They were the fastest answer. We're closing in on the daily trivia playoffs to crown our first semester champ. The playoffs start later this week. Our category though today is magazines. Watch your email for the question from me and have a marvelous Monday out there. Half Moon Bay High School.